Well, hello there. Welcome back to this. Um, I need to do my sound here. Testing one, two, testing one, testing two. Testing one, testing two. I wish there was a plus minus sign here. Testing one, testing two. I think that's about right. Alright, well, hello there. Welcome back to Ryuku. Um, we are trying to go Hindu at the moment after we annex Kutai. We should be able to. Hopefully. Either that or we're going to have to fight uh, this guy again, which we're not going to be able to do until 1506. So let's hope that doesn't happen. So. There you go. After that, we're looking to uh, invade Ainu and become Animist. And I think that's about the time when we'll westernize. And we'll go Sunni after that, I think. But uh, we'll have to see. Anyway, we've got uh, rebellions. Apparently, a 13.4 one in. Uh, Okinawa. I doubt that's actually the case. And we have 9.7% in Kakati. And the others are all in Majapahit land, so. <clears throat> Let's uh, head on over there. Also, this volume is way too loud. My okay. hair's hoping these Georgians. Well, it's not really hoping because I know. Those Georgians aren't going to stay here, they're going to march into Tiberistan land, after which they will get evaporated. I hope. So, I believe... I have one unit on the move here. I'd much rather stay down there, because uh, all of the rebel spawns there, except for Circassian ones, aren't going to be bothering me. Uh, once again, pretty hopeful. Not entirely sure. I can't afford that guy. So, I'm ditching that one. What are my merchants doing? I feel like I should be making more money. Oh, they're doing just fine. Although... Might make more money. Was making 9.4. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna make more money now. And I'm making 11.72. Uh, still not quite enough dockets, though. I think I'd be needing to make a wee bit more. But, uh, I have to have this unrest guy, otherwise, you know, everything's going to shit, so. Can you uh, let me know if the sound and everything is alright? That would be great. Oh god. Try to sell some ships and maybe a, a Ute. Oh, they rival me. Oh, Lux, he only has 30 dockets.
Mars at war. And Pegu can't reach my ships. Now, Pegu. Pegu doesn't want my ships. Filthy bastard. This guy, though. That guy wants my ships. Willing to pay 50 ducats for it, too. Which leads me to believe that he, uh, he's hiding some of his money. You're at war. You're not. You're at war. But you're not. I doubt he can buy my ships off, but we can try. Oh, he can. He doesn't have any money, though. It says he wants two fewer. Still wouldn't be willing to pay me more than uh, 30 dockets. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Seven loans, that ain't good. I gotta get rid of that. If at all possible. Yeah, this guy has money. At least my inflation isn't that bad because my income's so high. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna have to let those ships stay there for a bit. And those Majapahit separatists seems like they're going to fire. Also, chat is definitely frozen. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. Yeah, I figured my chat overlay was dead after not getting a message for <laughs> like 10 minutes or something like that. When are you finished? Oh god. I could just be making money. It'd be real easy for me to make money right now. I could I could just not be uh I could just not be you uh paying for that level 2 admin advisor, but I really want that level 2 admin advisor. I really, really want that level 2 admin advisor. Could I? How about that? Uh, oh, you can't reach that? I don't think he'll want to buy, though. Doesn't look like it. I really need to start getting westernized soon, but I can't. Not until I've cored everything, at least. Oh, wait a minute. I completely forgot about Sulu. 
You've been in existence for some time. How about you buy some of my ships? Senpai notice chat. Well, the only person worthy of being called Senpai is... Not here. Now, eventually, he's gonna start making fake accounts. I know it. Ah, six loans. Better. You mean Jake? Huh. Is it going Zoroastrian or whatever? Not worth the trouble anymore. No, it's not. Going Zoroastrian requires all of your provinces to be of Zoroastrian religion. And that makes that uh, whole decision sequence, which uh, you really, if you haven't already, you really should play as a, as a Zoroastrian state. And my advice is to start as Tiberistan because you have like the pressure of needing to occupy um, of needing to occupy that only Zoroastrian province. But you can't exactly reach it because it's like in Timmy Timmy land, so you like need to plan your invasion of Timmy Timmy. It's really exciting. Um, if you're in in need of a playthrough, you should really try that. That was. That was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, that was just that was just amazing. It was really, really nice playthrough. At least for the start of it. After that, we got um, Monster Coalition and whatnot. But that was that was a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, it, it, also because of the decisions that Zoroastrian has. Sorry, Zoroastrianism. As. It's like Zoro and an Asterianism. Zoroastrianism. Uh, they have a lot of really cool decisions that require you to go after very specific um, provinces in the former Persian Empire. And they're quite a hassle to get. And if you get all of them, which, like I said, it, they really feel like a quest, like you need to go after those provinces and then you get these sick bonuses that are like insane and they're like perfectly um, acclimated to you playing Persia as Tiberistan. It's, uh, it's they did that really clever. Zoroastrianism is a very cool uh, religion, but the problem is, is you you need all owned provinces to be Zoroastrian for uh, to pass those, which is a pretty good, a pretty good decision because um, you know gameplay wise, because it's so insanely powerful, uh, especially if you combine it with trading in tea. But yeah. It's kind of sad that you need all provinces to be Zoroastrian because that kind of ruins, unless you use a lot of vassals, that kind of ruins uh, any opportunity to switching to another religion after that. Or if you do, it takes a really long time, and that's time that you really do not have. So. Chat's broken again? No, chat's not broken. Oh, you know what? I own Kai. Completely forgot about Kai. There we go. That should fix my income. <laughs> oh god. Air hole style, they're never gonna buy my ships. Uh, 
days I'll watch her do At least we're making money now, because we're making so much off of gold. So I fixed my income problem, that's nice. Yeah, apparently there's going to be one separatist soon. I'm going to raise autonomy here, just because I uh, cannot be arsed with that. And there's going to be... No, there's not going to be any rebellion there. And after the overextension goes away, this is gonna go away. So here's hoping that I'll never fire them. What about Georgia? How bad is this? Oh man, that's gonna fire no matter what I do, unless I convert it. I'm not converting that to Shinto. It's gonna make uh, going Hindu that much more difficult, and I really don't want any difficulties with that. Can someone uh, confirm whether or not chat's working? Because uh, it was going real fast a second ago. Conquering the Ottomans early would be better. Um, no. Well, it would be better development-wise, but like I said many times before, the first 200 years of this game really don't matter. Except if you get bogged down in really long wars, and if you conquer the Ottomans, you, you just get so close to all these big ass European powers that really want to eat you. And no, in that regard, it's definitely, definite, definitively not worth it. It's just not worth it. Give me a triple spawn? Holy shit, game. Now, why doesn't he get... Uh, oh, of course, that's the only grassland province I own. Uh. Actually, no. I own quite a bit of grassland provinces, apparently. This is also grassland, but I'm not attacking into that. Is hoping he'll change his mind on that. What's that? Two, two, three? Almost at max morale. That I'll have to do. Yeah. I think not. Arigato gozaimasu, me. Je ne voudrais that. Do I have a hat collection? I guess you could say I do. I own many hats, and I'm getting a new one soon, and I already know which one I'm gonna get, because I got a pretty big donation yesterday, I was like, oh, oh. It's like my justifications, like I go to that store, and they know me at that store, they're like, oh, just go to the basement, we know you've seen everything on the top side. And then I go to the... It's really funny. It's really funny to go to a store that no one really ever visits and then... Hello? What's happening here? And then, uh, and then be like, oh yeah, yeah, you can just go to the basement, it's fine. 
But I saw the sickest hat last time and I was like, oh, okay, I'll get that one. Because I couldn't find anything Japanese or Asian. And then I found this hat. But tomorrow I'm going to go visit that store again and get that other thing that I really wanted to get before. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's pretty sick. <laughs> Do I own hats because I'm secretly bald? No. No, it's just kind of my jab. Look, I got hair. It's reasonably long, too. I should really go to the barber again. Oh, man. Sergeant Backer. That would have been... Uh... That would have been crazy. That hat is going to blow your mind? Well, I wouldn't say that. I mean, no hat really blows your mind, right? Unless it's the Arabia one. That one... That one I can... Uh, I can see blowing your mind. Now the battle doesn't really go into my favor. Jesus, that was disgusting. That really hurt. Charlie. Charlie bit me. It really hurt. It really did. No, stop it. No, god damn it. Uh, apparently we're gonna have a Ming Rebellion soon, unless we raise the autonomy there. It's alright though. I'd rather have those provinces never revolt than revolt during westernization. That would be awful. And we are pretty close to westernizing. I miss my hair, dot dot dot, JK. Oh god. Now, oh, speaking about claims, we really should be getting some of those. Will I, though? I won't. I won't take a river crossing here. He seems reasonably powerful, though. He's on tech 5. Still not as bad as the Auto Rebels would be. Ah, oh, let's just hope that we win. See, that was doable. I only lost 2,000 guys there. You gotta spend your points on something, guys. I'm not westernizing for a long time. And uh, I'd, I'd really just like the money right now. I'd advise you not to do that. But, you know. No other choice and all that. Also, this is really bad. It looks like that's just going to fire and there's nothing I can do about that. I can't convert this. I can't raise autonomy either, because uh, all of those provinces have uh, used to belong to my vassal and my. Oh god, no, 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 no. No, I don't want Christmas. Scandinavian piano, there you go. All of these provinces used to belong to my vassal. He raised autonomy, so when I integrated him, I got the autonomy. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna have to send my army over there. That's, uh... That's unfortunate, especially considering... Pretty sure you cancelled my access, yeah. Did you? No, you didn't. Did you? No. Did you? No, you didn't. 
So we could march through Oirat. Does Uzbek still get us access? Does Nogai? Does the Golden Lord? Hello? No, the Golden Lord doesn't. It's gonna take them a while to uh, to give me access to. That's no good. Right in the middle of me wanting to uh, to go Hindu too. That's quite unfortunate indeed. Also, uh, we made sure to force Ming and Korea to transfer trade power to us. And, uh, well, of course that makes me a lot of money. But that's like a side issue. The biggest reason for doing that is so that Ming and Korea don't, uh, can't declare on me. Uh, nations that you, that you give trade power, or that give trade power to you, you can't declare war upon. And the AI doesn't know how to cancel transfer trade power off. So they're stuck, basically. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well. Because he's. Uh, I'm gonna lose. Um, I'm gonna lose uh, Diplo Rep soon. So you better uh, give me this before I press that button, because I. I really need access. Oh god. The funny part is, uh, Japan... ...has a yama nama 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 ...as a vassal, so if we were, were to full annex Japan, we'd get... Yama nama 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 nama. They are they are allied to Korea now though, so that's unfortunate. But nothing we can't deal with, I'm sure. Oh god. Yeah, I can get that to work, but I first have to improve relations. How are you doing? Oh god, you're gonna take forever to get there, aren't you? Well, at least after he gets there and beats up the Georgians and the Circassians, we'll be, uh, we'll be done on that area for a long time. You're a hostile, you're rivaled, you're neutral, but you don't have any money. Here's hoping Yamanamanamanamanamana goes totally disloyal in Japan. Doubt it, though. I mean, if you only own one vast... Oh, wow, you are disloyal. Oh, that is interesting. It's gonna make that Korean War a uh, lot easier than I had previously anticipated. Because all I need to do then is be able to beat that 12 stack. But that's something for later, isn't it? Diplomat real quick. Okay, my air died, that's your nice. Line has ended. Yes, your line has ended. I'm not gonna press this button though, mostly because I really, really need access to the Golden Horde. To the point where I'm almost willing to give them a gift. Also, I just annexed uh, that. No, 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 I didn't mean to... Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, can I get some Hindu vassals? Yes! be here but in Hangzhou and this what is this oh you can go up there it's fine 